Iron Mateys. I'm at Tolchester Marina. You know, last time I talked about I needed to haul and block the boat, get a little bit of work done. Uh, so I did that. I got, um, I mean, this is this is really a great place to work on your boat. I mean, they got so much equipment with stuff, it's unbelievable. There's uh, two travel lifts, uh, several cranes, they got a full parts department, they got certified techs if you need some help with something. Uh, you're close to Rock Hall or Chestertown if you need to run in, but you really don't need to. Uh, of course, it's the great beach and the beach bar. You can see that behind me here. Uh, so you can, you know, you can work hard, then you can sit back and relax and play easy. Yeah, that's what I like about it. But I did get working on the boat. Now I only touched up the bottom I didn't, and the bottom paint. No, the prop was bad. I really needed to clean that up. But on, on the bottom, now I just used my uh, vacuum, hand vacuum sander for that. Um, but I still wear the respirator and the goggles. Now if I were going to do the whole bottom, I would have used the high pressure or the high vacuum uh, sander and I would have wore the whole body suit. But since I was just touching up a few things, I really didn't need that. But you always want to wear a respirator. I mean, you know, your lungs are important. I mean, look, at you can see how I take care of mine. No, no, seriously though, you got to be careful with that stuff. So I got that touched up. And then as I mentioned earlier too, I wanted to put a through haul in for the air conditioning. Now I use the Groco products. Um, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, they're the uh, they're the king in the in the underwater uh, faucet or uh, gate valves and seacocks and through hauls and strainers and stuff. And plus, they are just so innovative. Now, I saw this. I, I didn't use it. And they have this for the one inch, and I have a three quarter inch. But you know, on the through haul. All right. So you got your through haul. Then you got um, the seacock. Then you have a barb fitting that goes to the, your hose, and then that hose goes over to the strainer, and then the strainer, you know, and then there's another hose that goes out. Well, what they've developed is, and this, these guys are innovative as all hell. I tell you what, there's a lot of stuff that they've, they're, they're innovative on. But what they've made is, so you have the through haul, then you have your fitting on that, then the seacock and the strainer it's one piece. So that eliminates two hose, two hose connections that could go bad. I mean, it's, it's simplifying the process. It's making it more energy, it's making it more efficient, and it's making it safer. I mean, this, I, I can't wait till they put the three quarter one out. I may, I may change this out for that. I don't know. But so anyway, I did that. I knocked out the old, uh, through haul that was there and it had like the faucet on it you know like you have on your um, um, house so it, and that was rusted shut luckily it was rusted shut so I pounded that out I got that put in and yes I see that I, when I was going through the video I noticed on my second through haul I only had one uh, hose clamp I did add the second hose clamp before all of you start texting me and emailing me, you forgot the second uh, belt clamp. No, I got, I, I did that, so we're, we're good on that, but I appreciate everybody who would notice that. So I just wanted to make mention of that, so you don't have to worry, I did get that done. Oh, and as a safety tip here too, you know, I had the step ladder there, I tied that to the tow rail so it didn't fall over, and I don't use that top as a step. I always use the second one to step on up and down. And I tell you what, when you're doing this stuff by yourself, like that through haul, for example, I was up and down that ladder, I mean, maybe a dozen times. I worked myself really hard on that one. But I got it in, got it working, and when we put the boat back in the water, all the water is on the outside of the boat. 
pretty good. I don't, that doesn't always happen for me, but it did this time, so I was happy for that. Mm. Also on my tiller, and the rudder it, it wiggles a little bit and I had Charlie or Charles the um, uh, service manager here come over and take a look at it he said it wasn't bad but you know probably next time I pull the boat even if it's a short haul keep it in the sling drop the rudder put new um, fittings on that I'm not sure what they're called but um, you know to kind of tighten that up a little bit but he said it, was, it, it, it wasn't dangerous, but it, it should be taken care of. So I'm going to do that next time when I, even if I just do a short haul, uh, I may have to do a little bit more than that to, to keep that up. But, you know, I kind of went through and straightened up my electric tools, got that ready. Oh, I got a proper crimper, too. I got one of those, what do they call, uh, ratcheting crimpers. And it's got different dies for it, so you can have different size things. Uh, this is going to be a lot better. I did have a couple of you guys mention to me on some of my electrical things that I needed better crimpers. And you were right. I mean, you know, you really, for the few dollars it is, it, it's worth it to have the right tools. And I got a couple other things that, that are just going to make taking care of the boat a little bit easier. So I went through that, and then later next week, I'm going to go through my other tool bag. I mean, every year I try to go through it. Oh, and yeah, while I was here at uh, Tolchester, Saturday they had a group of um, uh, poker run guys come in on the, on the go fast boats, the cigarette boats. You know, I think they're kind of neat. I mean, I, I don't have one, but I think they're kind of neat. And then they had a uh, luncheon, what I call on top of the castle up here. And, you know, it's just, a, there's a lot of activity. Maybe you can hear the band is warming up behind me now. And this is, this is what, it's, it's just fun here to be able to get your work done and then be able to relax and party a little bit. And there's so much green space and so many areas that you can go to and relax. When you're looking for a marina, if you're on the upper bay, and anything north of uh, the Bay Bridge here, man, you gotta, you gotta really think about this place because they've got everything you need plus some. The bathrooms are impeccable. I love sitting here watching the boats come in and out. Here come some boaters now. Um, and it's just a lot of fun to sit and see everybody enjoying themselves here. But my notes are kind of flying away with me here. So I'm having a good time. I'm working hard. Contrary to what my buddy Bill thinks, I'm still working hard. Um, they even got some cognac in for me. You know, if you ask for something, I, I have to keep looking because boats are coming and going. It is so neat to watch all of this stuff. And like, oh, and floating slips. All of the piers now, except under the shed, are floating. You gotta love that, man, because when the tide is low or the tide is high, it doesn't matter. You step on and you step off. Well, I'm feeling pretty good about getting the boat ready to head south. I mean, I still got some cleanup work to do and some organizational things to do. Well, until next time, happy and safe boating to you, your family, and friends.
so safe and right I'll be done to say goodnight